You know what guys, I've never really seen a whole lot of Russell Crowe's movies, but seeing this one makes me want to see the rest of them. So, let's go ahead and see how this movie turned out. Hi, I'm Robert. Hi, I'm Danny. Hi, I'm Jazz. Hi, I'm Toby. Welcome to Gamer State. The nice guys. All right, guys. So, so let's start with a bit of backstory on Ryan Gosling's character. Ryan Gosling's character is pretty much, you know, he's a he's a single dad. He's a private investigator. While you have on the other end of that is Russell Crowe, who's a bit he, kind of a well, not well. He's not really a detective. He's more like an enforcer, I guess. It's somebody you pay to make sure other people don't like mess with you. And that's pretty much what his role in the movie is. And. You know, you would think that Russell Crowe's character, you know, would be, you know, a little bit, you know, loose, doesn't really care about anything. He's actually the most professional guy in the entire movie. Whereas in Ryan Gosling's character, he's, you know, he's high, he, you know, he's a high, he's got a high string job and everything. And it turns out that he's pro he's the most unprofessional guy you're probably ever gonna meet ever. Talk a little bit about the plot. So, you know, I I, I introduced to what they do. So, so Russell Crowe ends up taking a job from this kind of teenage girl and uh, Ryan Gosling's character takes a job from this older woman and somehow their paths end up crossing and then pretty much begins the entirety of the movie. This movie is a very interesting movie and, and I gotta say like every single moment of this movie it's you know it has some raunchiness to it but it, I think they're well put out, they're well spaced or they're not all clustered up and it's not what the, what the entire movie is about and I'll get and I'll get to why there is some raunchiness in, in this movie um, but this movie it's just interesting it, like everything draws you into it the sheer mystery of what is going on and the reason behind everything and the reason why it's like that is because it involves the porn industry this movie takes place in the 70s so you're thinking of a 70s porn of all the cheesiness the the, the horrible lines it, it makes for a very interesting movie get your mind out of the gutter you sickos but that's just like a side thing you know the the, the entire movie has a great has a great premise of of, you know double crossings and you know who who can you trust and you know it's it's just all a tangled mess that Ryan Gosling and freaking Russell Crowe have to manage their way through to find out what's really going on you know the story to me um, was a was a really really good to me it's a it's a pretty interesting take on like the whole crime investigation genre and to me I really enjoyed that. And that's not to say that, you know, this movie is a very serious movie. This movie is pretty damn funny, you know? Like there are there are plenty of moments in this movie where it's like like you yourself is taking the movie really seriously and then there's a funny moment in in the movie. It loosens you up and it makes the movie so much enjoyable or so much more enjoyable to watch and really to think about it it's 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 a lot of Ryan Gosling's character now there's one other uh character in this movie well two we're going to talk about them is Ryan Gosling's daughter and guys i have to say i ha i don't hate child actors and i don't hate this one she is a very very good actor she or actress, sorry. She did a phenomenal job. Whereas, like I said, Russell Crowe's character is very professional and Ryan Gosling's really unprofessional. He's, he's a mess, he's drunk all the time. His daughter seems to be the one that keeps him grounded and she has, and she plays a vital role in, in the movie. She actually does shit. She doesn't just, you know, hang out in the background just not doing anything. She will, she gets shit done in this movie. The best way to describe how her character comes across to me personally is, you know, Ellie from The Last of Us. She, an, an adult mind, she had to grow up faster. You know, she's very mature for her age and she understands a lot of what's going on, which is pretty weird, but it's super cool at the same time. The other uh, character we're gonna talk about is the hitman in this in this movie. You know, there's two other kind of hit men in the movie, but we're not talking about those guys. Those guys are kind of, are kind of low level low level players. This guy is high end. He's he's the guy you dream of fearing and he if you see him, you'll probably end up dying because that's how it works. This guy comes across super cool, you know, just waltzes in doesn't doesn't care about nothing just gonna get shit done every scene that he's in is like the craziest action-packed scene he's just 
like going going off on everybody. Now he didn't come out a whole lot in the movie, but I think with a character like his, I think you really need to choose wisely where you put him. You know, less is more, and I think that really worked out for this movie. Now, so let's talk about the ending also. So the ending of this movie, um, it's a very 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 satisfying ending to me it kind of brings everything all around and it's just a wonderful ending to this movie wrapping this whole thing up guys this movie has great actors from top to bottom you know the cinematography is great for to me i was wondering a lot of the times how they shot some of the shots they shot in this movie not only that you have a great story a great premise and even interesting side, you know, like subplots as well. Heck, even like like I said, the child actor was also really great in this movie. Overall, guys, this movie to me is a very, very awesome movie. Obviously not for everybody, but if you're into this type of genre or just want to see something different, this is a movie I highly recommend you guys go see. I'm going to have to rate this movie a 9 out of 10, guys. It is a phenomenal movie. A phenomenal movie. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and go check it out. It's been out for a while, so, so you know, by all means... It's 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 an enjoy. You will enjoy it. All right. If if you probably if you like Ryan Gosling and you like Russell Crowe, you're gonna like this movie. And that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if, and if you did, by all means, hit that like button as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you thought this video completely sucked, there's a dislike button right down there for you to press. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.